Hey guys, it's Julia. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to style more simple autumn outfits with blue jeans. Or any kind of trousers or anything in general, fashion video extraordinaire. So this is going to be a little bit about how to spice up autumn outfits, how to style autumn pieces, how to make an autumn outfit with jeans, trousers, anything really. Just a bit of a lookbook, another one, because it's autumn and who doesn't want to look schnazzy. So without further ado, let's just get on in the video. Hello guys, this is voiceover Julia joining you for the autumn outfits try on haul. Obviously the best way to start off a basic outfit is with a basic t-shirt and jeans. Right now you can see me rummaging through my wardrobe, not finding the belt that I was looking for, and instead finding a beanie, which, don't come at me, the label is not off yet, I only bought it yesterday, it's from H&M, I quite like it, it's very schnazzy, <laughs> you can tell I am definitely feeling the beanie life. Another way to do it is to add a flannel shirt, this one I also bought at H&M yesterday, very cool, it was the right colours that I was looking for, which was red and blue, and there seem to be a lot of shirts that are other colours, that are a really strange combination of colours. This one is a men's shirt because it is 100% cotton. Women's shirts just seem to be kind of meh. And also, another way to style shirts is to just simply pick a different colour of shirt. I recommend getting different colours of shirts. I quite like shirts. I think they're very versatile things. You can ignore my very awkward dancing as I try and show you this shirt in a way that isn't just standing there awkwardly. Also a forewarning that there will be many peace signs thrown throughout this video. I have warned you now. Now this outfit makes me feel kind of like I'm embracing my modern shepherd. <laughs> the overcoat, or over vest, jumper thing is actually my mum's from like the 80s and 90s. To be honest, a lot of fashion outfits are mostly discovered by accident, at least in my case, so I just thought that this looked quite schnazzy. Again, a word that you will hear much throughout this video. Now to say the least, this jumper is pretty chef's kiss. I'm pretty sure that my mum found it in a charity shop for the princely sum of nine earth pounds, which is just blows my mind considering that it is 100% cashmere. I mean, where do you find these kind of things? I would love to go charity shopping slash thrifting more, apart from the fact that COVID kind of gets in the way of that a little bit. That little black bag that you just saw is from eBay. I wouldn't really recommend shopping on eBay unless you're just like looking for random stuff. I mean, it's not the most sustainable place to shop fundamentally, but you know, it's chill. We're not going to judge people on their financial situation or whether they can shop sustainably or not. So this next outfit is technically a cricket vest, but I'm going to call it a sweater vest for the purposes of Pinterest styling. This was another charity shop find, and when I actually get to go out charity shopping slash vintage shopping, I will definitely be doing a video on the haul that I get of clothes, hopefully sometime in the near future. Also, the weird hand signs that you see me doing are that my white turtleneck that I would be wearing with this outfit is currently in the wash. Therefore, I would wear it with this outfit to make a warmer outfit and more cohesive. However, it is in the wash because I only wore it yesterday. Also, random input, I hope that everyone's having a lovely day. I'm having a decent day so far and I hope you are too. Now, this next outfit is making me realise that a lot of my clothes are from H&M, it seems. Also, cue more awkward dancing. This top is actually, I think it's called a mock neck because it's not a crew neck and it's not quite a turtle neck, so it's kind of somewhere in the middle. This top has pretty good flappy sleeves, to be honest. I can't remember my bat sleeves, they kind of like a, a bat wing, kind of, you know what I mean? More awkward dancing. Wow, Julia, you're doing great today. Obviously, these outfits, I've paired all of them with my blue jeans, but you can wear them with any kind of trousers, leggings, anything that you have around the house. This is merely ideas. This is definitely not uh, what you can and can't wear. This is just my take on it. Now this outfit, the top is from River Island or Topshop, something like that. And the denim jacket is from New Look. They're both from a little while ago now. And this was kind of like a last minute thought up outfit, the kind of double denim look. I quite like how it turned out. I mean, you could pair any kind of basic black top with any pair of jeans and any kind of overshirt that you want and it'll look pretty snazzy, pretty slick, pretty cool, pretty fashionable as such. Now double denim is definitely one of those more controversial fashion looks and I don't think it really matters what shade of denim it is, like these shades of denim obviously don't match. But again you could swap out the denim jacket for a flannel overshirt or a shacket kind of vibe, depending on what occasion you're going out for. This black top is also one of those racer style tops that has become quite popular more recently, it's quite easy to find in many different stores. 
you can definitely tell I'm not as sure with this outfit. I'm still not quite 100% taken with this outfit, but obviously fashion is experimentation. This was an experiment on what looked good. I mean, I kind of like it. I think it kind of works. But yeah, I just probably wouldn't wear it out unless I was feeling like particularly extra that day, which does happen. Hey guys, so thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below any video ideas or anything you'd like to see in the future. I'm quite puffed out now, quite warm. I think three tips I'd give for any kind of autumn styling is layering. That can help transition any pieces from like summer into the winter. Turtlenecks are very nice for that. More muted colours, kind of like tans, greys, blacks, whites. You saw a lot of that today. Obviously, the red and blue checkered shirt is a bit of a change, but I think a flannel shirt is a bit of a staple in your autumn wardrobe. And three, wear whatever the hell makes you feel comfortable and confident because, frankly, fashion is anyone's game and anyone can wear whatever the hell they want if it makes them feel like a badass bleep, bleep. <laughs> that was not needed, but you know what I mean. Hope everyone has a lovely day and I will see you in next week's video. Bye!